Today, we're going to create a beautiful photo collage in Affinity Photo. If you'd like to follow along, I've left a download link for these images in the video description. To begin the tutorial, I've already made a document that's 1920 by 1080. That size works for me, but you can make your collage whatever size you want. Next, I'll get out the rectangle tool and then click and drag to make a rectangle that's the exact size of the document. This is easy to do with Affinity's guides, which snap your shape into place. If these guides aren't appearing for you, make sure you have snapping turned on at the top. And just so our rectangle is easier to see, I'm going to make it gray. Next, we're going to use the transform panel to do a little math. If you don't have the transform panel, you can get it by coming to View, Studio, Transform. For our collage, we want four rectangles going across our document. Using the transform panel, we can precisely shrink our current rectangle to one fourth its size. To do this, I'll divide the width and height both by two. To divide, you can use the forward slash key, which is found on the same key as the question mark. Now our rectangle fits perfectly on one fourth of our document. Now we'll duplicate this rectangle three times so that we have four in total. To duplicate a layer, you can press Command or Control J. Now I'll press V for the Move tool and then reposition the rectangles. And if you want to be super organized, you can rename these layers and then rearrange them in an order that makes sense for you. Next, we'll make a circle for the center of our collage. To do this, press and hold on the rectangle tool and then select the ellipse tool. Then hold down shift while clicking and dragging to make a perfect circle. I'll give my circle a different color and then use the move tool to resize and position it. Next, we'll add a layer effect to all of these shapes to create the outline of our collage. To do this, hold down Shift to select all of the layers, and then press on the FX icon to open the Layer Effects dialog box. We'll come to the Outline section and turn it on. Then we can increase the radius of the outline. I'll give mine a radius of 20 pixels. I'll also change its color to white. Then change the alignment to center. After that, we can close this dialog box. I'll press H for the hand tool so that we can easily see our design. At this point, most of our design looks really good. However, there's one major problem. Because we used the center alignment option, half of the outline is being cut off on the edges. You might think that we could fix this by changing the alignment to something else, but that actually just creates new problems by making these areas not look right. Instead, I'll show you a different trick we can use to fix the outline on the edges. First, get back out the rectangle tool and make a rectangle that perfectly fits the document. Next, 
Then come back to the Layer Effects dialog box. Just as before, we're going to give this rectangle an outline effect. Give the outline the same size and color as you used before. But this time, instead of using center alignment, we're going to use the inside alignment. Now we have the perfect border for our design, but there's just the small problem of this rectangle covering up the rest of our shapes. <laughs> Fortunately, there is an easy fix. All we need to do is lower the rectangle's fill opacity to 0%. Now our other shapes are visible, and we have the perfect border for our design. Now that our collage's outline is done, it's finally time to place our images. To do this, we'll come to File, Place, and then select the images from off your computer. Then click and drag to place each image in the general area you'd like it to go. Now we're going to place each of these photos inside the shapes we made earlier. To do this, take a photo layer and drag it down and to the right of whatever shape you want it to go inside of. Now our collage is so close to being done, but I have a few last tips to help make your collage even better. The first tip is to change your photo sizes. To do this, make sure you have the Move tool out, and then open one of these groups and select the Photo layer. Then you can resize and position the photo. And since this photo is facing the wrong direction, we can easily flip it by right-clicking on it and then going to Transform, Flip Vertical. You can continue this process to resize and position all of your images to make your collage look its best. You can also change which direction a photo is facing by flipping it horizontally, if that works better for your design. My next tip for you is how to easily switch the order of your photos. All you need to do is move around these rectangles and the photos will move with them. And finally, my favorite tip of all, how to change your collage's outline. At any time you want, you can change the size or color of your outline. All you need to do is select all of the shapes and then press the FX icon to open the layer effects. Then, as you change the outline effect, all of the shapes will be affected at once. This is really useful because it lets you quickly see different versions of your design without being locked down to a particular outline size or color. Well, thanks for watching my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial. If you want to learn our Affinity workflow, then check out the free course below.